All right, YouTube 106 Falconer here. Today we have a printer problem. This printer here, this HP NV4502, is my mother's. This thing is stuck in the page alignment mode or printer alignment mode. Pain in the ass. Um, she uses her printer all the time. And then this is mine, Epson XP400. This printer won't print in black if you run the test sheet and stuff everything comes out fine if you go to actually print something no black so I'm gonna try to get her printer working if I can't I'm gonna try to get my printer working and uh, just give her this one so let me get stuff set up here we'll get going okay so I'm going to plug her in now um, and show you. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're all too familiar with what you're going to see here. Now, it's a funny thing because when I went over there to her house trying to get it going, um, <coughs> I unhooked the USB from her computer and then I connected uh, using the Wi Fi in this and it worked once printed one thing and then went back in that stinking alignment mode um, and it was working fine until she changed the ink on it she put in new cartridges and uh, that's when it decided to lock up alright so we're at this load paper and press continue screen which let's see here So, if you press continue, it goes in that now printing alignment page, and it'll stay there. Cancel, doesn't do anything. So, if you go on HP, you know, if you, if you Google it, there's not a lot of answers. You got the HP answer, which is... To do a uh, hard shutdown, you know, while it's on, unplug it, let it sit a minute, plug it back in, you know, and some people say that resolved the issue. Well, that doesn't resolve the issue. Then the other one is, which is what I'm going to do now, is to remove the ink, shut it down, fire it back up, reinstall the ink cartridges. So, we're going to... Let me zoom back out of here. Doop, doop. So, all right, and if you listen real close, you can hear something that just doesn't sound good. So, let me. Take the ink out. I can say brand new ink cartridges. All right. Do that. All right. So now we got the cartridge miss missing light. We'll do a hard shutdown. Oh, let it sit for a couple minutes. This uh, <clears throat> I've never liked this printer. The software that comes with it, I thought sucked. Um, the uh, uh, wireless printing you know like from a phone or a tablet terrible the Epson was a lot better that way easy to set up their app their printing app worked I thought awesome um, this thing uh -uh. and you know it's a shame because HP used to be you know synonymous with you know that's the printer you wanted was an HP um, and everything I read about them now they're pretty much junk so, all right, we're going to 
plug you back in. Let that fire up. We'll throw the ink back in and see what it says. Yeah, as a matter of fact, down in my basement, when she had Windows Vista, she had an HP printer. It wasn't a scanner, it was just a printer. The thing worked fine. I still have that in the basement, but once Windows 7 came out, they no longer supported that printer. I'm going to have to check, see if maybe Windows 10 has reversed that. So, Alright, so we'll throw the ink back in. Alright, now we're back to the load paper freaking thing. See, stuck. Can't do anything with it. Nothing works. I mean, you can power it off. And fire it back up. It's going to be right back the same thing. Do 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 do. Boy, this thing's slow. Man, alive. Huh, I got into the WPS Wi-Fi setup by holding that, but that's not what I want to do. Alright, now we're home. Huh. Well, let's see if we can scan something. Cop, let's see if we can copy something. Holy crap! I got nothing on the scan bed. Oh. Well, what's it doing here?
to cancel. Cancel. Come on. I only got two minutes on my memory card left, so let me uh, make some more room here. I'll be right back. Okay, so <coughs> I'm back. I've been gone about ten minutes, and you can see it's still canceling. Uh, let's try hitting home. Back. Let's try doing that Wi-Fi thing again. Nope, that's not doing it this time. Let's power off. thing is noisy. Sounds like circuitry or something. I really want to tear it apart and see what the hell's going on in there. All right, we'll fire back up here. All right, YouTube. I think what the problem is is the power adapter. I mean, listen to this thing just screaming. There's a indicator light on the side here. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to light. I mean, and any other power adapter, they do light up. This one's not lit up. Uh, Three-prong plug there. <coughs> so, I found one on eBay, $15.50. I'm going to order that and try it because... I know it's not supposed to be screaming like this. I mean, this is just, uh, um, <laughs> it sounds terrible. But I'm going to unplug it, then I'll unplug the connector here. We'll plug it back in and see if it makes any noise. But it's down here in in the compartment. You have to take off, uh, well, you have to take this piece off down here that holds this short piece of, uh, cord and then there's the top piece right there it's a number 10 Torx or you can use a slotted screw in there or slotted uh, screwdriver I'll show you the screw here real quick that be the screw so let me get some plugs a second Okay, I I had to do a uh, hard, uh, you know, I, I unplugged it from the wall because it was staying in cancel mode. So I put the power adapter back in. All right, got that. I'm gonna close it up, put some fresh paper in there, and we'll see if it'll what it'll do now. Plug her in here. Boy, that freaking power adapter is just screaming in there. I'm going to almost say that's a problem. <clears throat> of course, maybe it screwed up the, the motherboard in here or something. I don't know, but I'm going to order that part anyways. You know, 16 bucks. What the hell? Give it a schnot. I mean, you can get the new uh, 4520 for... Uh, $69 but of course none of them get good reviews all right
Huh. No, it's not going to do it. Oh, it feels like the hinge came apart in this. All right, son of a... Oh, God. This is going to tick me off here. button down see what happens All right, here we go again. I'm gonna unplug this prick. All right. where it needs to be unless one of these wires are um, got pinched down in there which I don't know how that would happen but we'll leave it out and try it Let's see if our power light is on. Where is that indicator light? Yep, indicator light's on. damage use on button to turn off the printer we'll try that again here do 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 do, do. clear back up indicator light still on adapter still screaming Oh god, this thing takes forever to boot up. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get it to do the alignment scan again. Because maybe once we get through this damn screen, it'll be...
Well, it started to do something. Printing. So now, all right, error code, let's see here, oh boy, error code OXC 4EB 827F. Let me write that down. I'll be back. Alright, YouTube. So this is bizarre. The printer started working again. Alright. After I was screwing around with it, you know, trying to get it to print holding the, the button down here, um, I got this error code. It's the... Uh, OXC4EB827F. Um, <coughs> I looked it up online. <coughs> That's a, a printer head error. So um, I was, you know, reading the little bit of information that's available out there. And it, it said to uh, open your cover, remove the print cartridges, close it, then. Uh, power it off, you know, do a hard hard off, plug it back in. Anyways, the print cartridges wouldn't move. They were stuck over here. So what I did was I powered it back up and uh, I held the button down and then jiggled the print head and bam, it's working now. So as much as this... Uh, Adapter is screaming. It's got to be an issue with the print head, but I'll show you here. Let me uh, plug it back in. Just jiggling that print head. I don't know. Oh. Let me turn around here. See, I was able to print that. Secret Service is going to come. I, I did the alignment page and the scan. I'll show you. We'll do it again. See, it's firing right up to the home screen. Um, we'll do the alignment first. I'm still going to order that power adapter because that noise is just going right through my freaking ears all right so if we do a line printer
All right, alignment sheet. I'll take it off. I'll take this other alignment sheet out. Stick this one in. That's okay. The scanner is working. It's scanning. Alignment successful. Go back there. We'll do a home. We'll do a copy that it wasn't doing before. Just do a black copy. There you go. That's it, man. Like I said, I'm going to order that power adapter. I'll probably do a video replacing that when I get it, but uh, if you're having this problem, try what I just did. Um, it's a pretty simple solution, so crappy product, though. Crap product. All right. See ya.